And hello everyone, and it is I, your favourite tyrannical ruler, Lord Freeze, and I'm back with another exciting episode of me playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Now I know it's been a little while since I've done an episode of this and Call of Duty World War 2. I'm bringing you both of those this week, so get your butts excited and get them in gear. On to the gameplay, shall we? Oh, Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Uh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. <laughs> I think these two are beefing! I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Oh shit, here we go, guys! It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I knew that! I just meant... In the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Oh, ho, ho, ho. here we go! Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, is she thinking, is this bitch for real right now? <laughs> well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Damn, Natsuki! Calm you and your tiny tits! Oh! Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it. And Frieza did too. Whoa! <laughs> Leave me out of this cat fight, alright, Natsuki? So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. <laughs> First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Oh, that is passive-aggressive as fuck! Which I haven't yet. Oh, ho, ho! <laughs> and Freezer liked my poem too, you know. Oh, oh! And your tits! He even told me he was impressed by it. <laughs> Put a T in front of that it and an S at the end. <laughs> I'm impressed by those too, Yori! Oh, oh! Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? Oh, I'm saving real quick. I don't know what's about to happen, guys. <laughs> I was warned by you guys. Keep your save files ready. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yori. Eh? That's not what I... Oh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that a freezer appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. <laughs> Here we go, ladies. There's enough for me to go around. Look how long this tail is. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? <laughs> no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. G um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Frieza started showing. <laughs> what? She accused her of stuffing! Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting guys! Suddenly both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Frieza! She, she's just trying to make me look bad! That's not true! She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making all of your poems convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Frieza! Come on, Natsuki, don't put me in this position! I want to make love to all of you at the same time! Wait! 
There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Frieza? Um... Well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Oh, It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be Yori. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all! Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mmm? I understand. Yuri? Uh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. W well that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I... see. I didn't notice that. I... I... I'm sorry. Oh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far! Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding?! That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't need. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Ugh. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped. At this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt... It helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem from the desk and storms out. Oh, poor Natsuki! On her way out, she crumbles up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. No, Natsuki! I liked your poem! Natsuki! She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room... Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Oh, we about to drop some game real quick here? Hold on. Everybody, get your golden teacups and three, two, one, golden tea sip. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. <sighs> Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri! How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Frieza, you're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. To have you a part of this club now? <laughs> Typo much? I'm thankful to have you as a part of this club now. The grammar Nazi police are here. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said. About, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, uh, if you want me to inspect them one-on-one -on -one later, I will, Yuri. I, I believe they're real. I'd love to see them. What thing did Natsuki say, though? Just to make sure that we're on the same page. Gah. Um... Well, uh, never mind that. I'm gonna go and make some golden tea. Ah, uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. All right then, damn. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Frieza, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Oh, come on, really, Monica, really? And maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I guess. 
I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Freezer! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hee <laughs> Sayori beams at me. <laughs> Two other things are beaming right now too because it's kind of cold in here. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together, and I'm hoping to finally seal the deal and smash. Well, <laughs> smash again. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either because, ha <laughs> ha, it feels pretty great. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, no, I don't hate them. I was just wondering about your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Frieza, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Oh, it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Oh, ho, ho, ho. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah. Let's do this. All right, so, oh gosh, here we go. Picking more things here. All right, let's go let's go for fireflies. Oh, well, it looks like Sayori liked that. Um, let's go with singing. Oh, more Sayori. Uh, let's go with uh, intellectual. A little bit of Yori right there. Joy, more Sayori. Ooh, um, let's see here. Playground, I knew, I knew that Natsuki was gonna like that. I bet, I bet Natsuki likes boop too. Yep, boops for her and cute. Oh, lots of Natsuki. Uh, let's go flower. Sayori. Hmm. Rain cloud's probably going to be Yuri, I bet. Nope, it was Sayori. Okay. All right, then let's go with um, nature. A lot of Sayori going on here. Ooh, kiss. Natsuki likes that. Friends. More Sayori. A lot of Sayori going on. Well, journey. There's some Yuri right there. Yuri. I bet I bet Yuri likes summer as well. Oh, nope, Natsuki. Bouncy. Natsuki as well. Hmm, smile. A oh, little bit of Sayori there. Uh, holiday, Sayori. Warm, Sayori. Damn, all right, you know what? Let's go ahead and go with uh, swimsuit. Natsuki, nice. Okay, we got all of that done right there. And um, I guess I get to pick one more then. Hmm? Let's see here. Mm. Essence. All right, a little bit of uh, ending with a little bit of Yuri there. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club, entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Frieza! Yo, Sayori! Looking K-O-K -okay fine today, I see. Looks like you're in a good mood as well. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Um, I'm good, I'm good. Um, <laughs> I'll snack on you later if you like, you know. <laughs> okay, that's not appropriate. Let's skip that joke. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh -huh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the disc. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair! How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. Hmm? So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money buying manga so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. 
You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Gah. I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Gah. I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Frieza to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori! Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Gah! Did I just... I, I didn't mean that! I got too absorbed into my book and... Gah! <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside of us all, isn't there? <laughs> okay, foreshadowing. Look at how Yuri is looking at me right now. Dear God. Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. B but you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... Gah! A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. I is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Not the key! That's no nice of you! I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Mm. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> You're going through a lot over there for just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez! Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate! Yeah? Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Oh, jeez! I get it, I get it! Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Oh! Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. D hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Uh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Gah? Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. I think this is a good time for a golden tea sip, everyone. Get your golden tea. And three, two, one. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. I don't know about that, Yuri. You're my favorite so far. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me, I'm the cute one here. 
Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Gah. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all? You're so strong-willed! boyfriend What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah! Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though! You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Um, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down, Frieza. Oh, damn! She's giving me the eyes! She's giving me the eyes! Monica smiles sweetly. Oh, ho, ho! that skirt's clapping up, baby! I can't wait to get under there! Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I've gotten pretty good with my hands. Oh, 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 oh. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. In that case, best of luck, oh. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Well, everyone, I think that's a better place than anywhere else to stop for the episode. It's been a very fun one. A lot of eventful things happening with the girls today. Had a lot of fun. Super excited to bring you guys episode four of Freezer playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Don't worry, I'll get you an episode five soon enough. Let's just digest this one and see how we like it. And, you know, you know, and, you know, in the comments down below, let's discuss it a little bit together. Tell me what you think is going on right now. If you've already played the game, please no spoilers. I do my best to avoid spoilers in the comments. I've never played this game before. Pretty much every single Let's Play I do, it's always blind. So we're experiencing it together. So please, no, no spoilers. All right, I've seen a couple spoilers. Thankfully, I have a pretty bad memory, so I forgot them by now. But, you know, like, because I, I bl block them out. I see them, I'm like, oh, I don't want to know that. Stop reading, delete, comment. So everybody, thank you very, very much for, you know, for watching the video today. And make sure to let me know what you think is going to happen down in the comments below. Let's talk about it. I'll be looking at the comments on this episode, and I'll be responding to as many as I can. But, 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 if you only make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to the channel because I do new videos all the time, every single week. And if you're not new, I think you already know you should be smashing that like button. Click my sexy golden face at the top left of the screen and subscribe to the channel and become a member of the Freezer Force Elite. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on so that you never miss a hashtag Freezer Plays or a hashtag Freezer Reacts. At the top right is one of my most recent Let's Plays, and at the bottom right is one of my most recent reaction videos. And as always, I'll see you in my next video! Ha 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 ha! K-bye!